okay here's the user interface it will all going to ask you first of all for the credentials So this is the main dashboard provided by the option to uh, us. Uh, it is actually divided into five different categories: dashboard, analysis, environment, reports, and configuration. And so every uh, uh, category has its own subdomains uh, for, uh, for the similar uh, parts. So, but if you go on your portal, the first the first page you are going to be uh, see will be like this you will get the uh, if you having the alarms for the system alarms it will going to be displayed here here are the event categories what type of events happen and then there is uh, if you connected your otx you will get the something like this uh, here otx portion here otx is a special special account uh, you need to sign up so, and then here is the theme of the logger events whatever the logs will be happen uh, it will be going to sh uh, show you here but uh, it, here are like the log events because log events are not available on the uh, what we can say on the awesome solution it's it is available on the usm part so that's why this uh, bar is uh, totally like uh, down on the linear vertically uh, horizontally linear so here are the multi the events if the events are ha happen you will get the something like these bars will tell you that the yes, these events are happen then here is the one uh, tutorial the graphical representation of the your deployed sensor and then that uh, from where your sensor is getting the logs then if you move next toward uh, where the de uh, deployment status this is actually more very important uh, because this is this portal is actually going to tell you that like this much uh, these these are the number of sensor which are deployed and deployed in your architecture uh, are these enabled are the are these are monitoring or they are how much they are monitoring and what are what is the like the con, like the current situation of those um, uh, sensors so if i uh, i actually deployed one uh, sensor so i'm getting the like the only that one only location one i have only one location and if i go next here are some uh, uh some list of what it this sensor is actually doing so if move i move next to the open thread uh, exchange this is the actually uh mapping uh map this is the mapping of your sensor or your uh, you will get the sensor because I what I actually did uh, I have an account on the OTX but I didn't uh, actually configure that uh, OTX account as uh, properly so I'm not getting the map where uh, like my sensors are deployed but if I configured it well I, I'm definitely going to see like the here's the, where my sensors are deployed or my servers are deployed and where are the end devices so so the uh, after th and this uh, this part this uh, dashboard uh, other than this then we have having the four different uh, uh, categories four different analysis environment reports and configuration analysis is the category where you get the alarms you will going to uh, get the number of alarms what are the al like if an alarm has been happened you will get those alarms here those alarm details will be shown you here will be displayed you here then we are having the security events uh, these are security events we security events or the main logs you will going to see like these are the current logs which are being collected by my sim solution the per sim solution av machine is actually my uh, my host name or the name of my server av machine uh, and, and every machine is also a name of my uh, sensor as well. So um, because I'm using the only uh, at only one location, so I uh, give give them the same name. So these are the logs where you get the logs. If you want to see the real time log collection, you will need to go in the real time uh, log uh, tab, and here it will be going to display you the more uh, recent uh, logs or the, the recent logs it will going to collect then there are raw logs now raw logs are the all type of logs it, it is going to be collect but this is the feature is only available in the 
USM um, USM version. So we are not going to discuss uh, it here. So here are the ticketing uh, uh, part, ticketing portal. You can specify the tickets uh, if you want to specify. Uh, 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 you can deploy like uh, Jira. You can deploy the uh, uh, service now. Uh, anything uh, here. So if I move to the asset and groups, um, uh, this this is the portal where you will see that what type of uh, uh, what are the endpoint devices or what are the devices connected with this same solution. You will, you can see that there are a lot of devices connected in my system, but I don't need in these devices. If I don't want to, I don't need these devices. I'm just going simply to deselect the needed devices and I will delete all the rest. So to delete all the rest in the action and I give what delete and it will delete those devices and it will stop collecting the, the logs from those devices. Um, so this is the one thing uh, it was it was the main thing discuss if I want to group the group the devices I can group devices by going into the asset grouping uh, if there are network devices I can group them here if I want to perform uh, I want to actually specify the the scans type of scans I can specify that scan from this gradual scan uh, tab. So next is the vulnerability. Vulnerability is the vulnerability tab. Actually, uh, uh, get the, the if whenever the tab when uh, whatever vulnerability is detected in the one is going to be displayed here. I can perform the vulnerability scan jobs. I can create a threat database to check whatever what uh, everything about the vulnerabilities are actually can be done from this portal. So then traffic capture is there, availability is there, no detection is the another tab. So here is the, the in the last there is the report overview tab. And what uh, we actually can download or view the reports of the of the like for example for the alarm reports are there, asset details, business compliance reports are there, seem events are there, everything. If you want to download the reports, we can come here on the overview and we can download it. Then there is a configuration. In the configuration, there um, we can actually uh, configure or we actually uh, what we can say well, yes, we can configure our sensor servers uh, or the users. We can actually see that we can actually uh, uh, configure our deployment, their threat intelligence, and open threat exchange. So this is the just an overview of the interface. So